It's time for the Nebraska Women's Basketball Coaches Show, brought to you by BMO. Blink to the floor to go. She's having problems. Gets it in. It's deflected. Huskers get it back. Potts puts it up and scores. The Husker defense gets two points and a Huskers lead by five. Yeah. What a play. At top of the left wing, Darian White reverses it deep right side. Kendall Coley's going to take a three. You betcha. A triple for Kendall Coley. Nice shot by Kendall. Good ball reversal by Nebraska. Kroll throws to a cutting Darian White. Left low block. Spins twice. Spins a third time. Flips it oh. up. And it counts. And a foul. Da -da -da, da -da -da. How did that go in? You won't see a play that good in a month. And it counts in a foul by Darian White. This lead for three. You betcha on the right wing. He's on fire. That freshman pulls Nebraska back within eight. That's the 10th rebound. That's her second career triple double. Jazz yeah, Shelley with an amazing performance tonight. Fans come to their feet at Medical Bank Arena. Now with Amy Williams, here's your host, Jessica Cootie. Welcome into our first full hour with Amy Williams of the season. We're with you till 7 o'clock tonight, and we'll hand things over to Jake and Kent for the pregame show. This is Nebraska men's basketball at Minnesota. 8 o'clock tip for that one, but again, hour long pregame show. So, Amy Williams with us here. For the next hour or so, get those calls and texts in for the coach, 402-413-2400, the number two call or text. Well, coach, big win last night. That was fun. That was fun, yes. It's, um, it's always amazing when, um, when you have a game like that where everybody that gets an opportunity just finds ways to contribute. And um, I'm not sure it, you know, if I've been involved with a game where we had seven different players in double figures, everybody who... Uh, played, scored a bucket, found a way to, to, to bring something to the table. It was just a really fun team win. You guys have rattled off three wins since we last had you here in studio, but that one last night, off to a, what a great start. 62-12 to 12 at half, and one of the most dominating performances from a Husker women's basketball team. How important was the start in this one? Because we've seen you guys play two really dominant second halves, but to come out fr firing from the start in this one last night. Yeah, I think... That's really important for us, Jess, right now, because um, you know, as a team, we've been really harping on just trying to put together more complete ball games because we know that's what it's going to take. Um, you know, that's we didn't beat TCU in Florida because we didn't put together two strong halves of basketball, and we're not going to beat too many people in the Big Ten if we can't do that. So, um, for us to really, you know, work towards that and get off to a great start in the game, I think it showed. Um, the focus that our players had to um, to really try to complete, put together a more complete ball game. I think it's really easy to sit there and be wowed by the offensive numbers, but how good was the defensive performance too? That was also one of the best performances defensively by a Husker women's basketball team as well. Yeah, I thought that um, we were very locked in and focused on the defensive game plan for that game. Um, but one of the most impressive things was just um, – we held them to no offensive rebounds in the first half. And I think, um, you know, there were some tough shots that we were forcing. And, and so there were rebounds to be had. But we were finishing our defensive possessions with really disciplined box outs and, and coming away with a lot of rebounds. And, and that um, sparked the pace that we were able to play with offensively and I think really set the tone for us. So um, I think that's something else that just really is cemented in our minds that when we can get the focus and get those stops and and really lock in on rebounding that we can be pretty special well and a, another special performance really special performance from jazz shelley not to bury the lead a historic performance the first husker in history with two career double doubles 19 points 10 rebounds 11 assists and almost had it in the first half and i love listening to her press conference how she was like well the assists are easy when i have teammates like i do you know the the 11th one was Throwing it into Lex and Lex making a move inside and Logan Nisley hit was knocking down from three. Just but your take on her performance last night and, and to be the first ever to do what she did. That's rare in these days to be get, be the first ever, but for her to now etch her name in the in the Husker record books. Yeah, and um and to to notch a triple double in twenty four minutes of playing time and, and as you mentioned, um, you know, probably <laughs> maybe if if I had substituted a little differently, could have potentially even had that triple double in the first half really just um just a special focus from her i thought from the get go and um <clears throat> one of our assistant coaches jessica keller uh really challenged jazz um with her rebounding efforts and um i thought that 
kind of got her locked in and glued in on being able to help us in more ways than just scoring. And uh, then everything else kind of happened organically and naturally after that. She's got great vision. Um, she does play with some great teammates that will finish, you know, awesome passes that she makes to them. But um, I thought, you know, when she's aggressive minded like that offensively and going after boards, you know, good things happen for our team. I'll never forget when she had her first triple double and I was asking Izzy about it and Izzy was saying, well, yeah, we knew she could pass like that, but she was never that good at rebounding when we played growing up. <laughs> How much have you seen that part of her game really grow and, and she has been able to consistently do that for you guys? Yeah, I, um, I've, I've really noticed um, that. I mean, from the moment she got to our campus, her first year as a Husker, she, she was leading our team in almost every major statistical category, including rebounding, and that was... You know, that was a lot of times where people commenting to me about, but she has an awesome knack for the basketball. She knows where, where things are coming off. Um, she's, got, she's kind of in tune to that. I think um, in the last couple of years, we've had to utilize her a little bit more in kind of a safety role on defense, which hasn't given her quite the same free reign to crash the offensive glass the same way she did maybe her very first year with us. Um, but we're, we're starting to find some opportunities when she plays with certain lineups and with Maddie Kroll, um, who will help kind of cover up a lot defensively that free her up to really crash the glass. And, and so I think, um, you know, she's making that a little more of a focus again. So big part of it, she had 11 assists. You guys as a team had 32 assists. I didn't double check that. That's wild. Do you know when the last time that happened for a Nebraska women's basketball team? I, I do not know. <laughs> so it was 1999, year after you graduated, right? <laughs> okay, yep. I think November of 1999 wow. was the last time that a team had, a Husker basketball team had that many assists. I mean, that's incredible. That has to make you happy as a coach to see the sharing of the basketball it, that way. It really, it really makes me happy to see that. I felt like, you know, it just felt like we were really committed to making that extra pass and um, turning down a good shot to get a great shot. And, um, and so, uh, you know, I love the unselfishness and I love the way we shared the basketball. That 1999 team, those are some of your teammates. Could they yeah. pass it a little bit? I was just going to say, I guarantee you Nicole Cubic had a few of those assists <laughs> that, that game. So. <laughs> That's awesome. I was hoping it was one of your teams. But, yeah. yeah, but since the 90s was the last time a team had that many assists. That, that was pretty astounding. And not to mention, the game before, you guys had 23 assists. So has, how big of a key has that been in these last two efforts, just the, the way that they do share the basketball? Yeah, I mean, it's been huge. And, um, you know, I think... We really spent a lot of time after the Georgia Tech game really just kind of breaking that down and talking about it. And, you know, I think in the Georgia Tech game, uh, Darian and Jazz combined for 15 assists and one turnover. And last night, I think they combined for something like 19 assists and one turnover. Um, and so that's, that's really special when you kind of have those two lead guards. And, and Callan Hake, you know, I've just been really, really proud of Callan. Uh, you know, we talked a little bit about um, some things after the Creighton game. And just, you know, her field goal percentage is up. She's been working really hard to be a very consistent, a more consistent um, three-point threat for us. And just, you know, making plays by, you know, getting into the paint and creating offense for herself and others. But... Um, you know, really wanting to kind of get, um, you know, the turnovers under control a little bit. And she's done a great job of that. And I think the last several games, she's kind of gotten in on um, sparking us with some assists and limiting her turnovers. And so, um, you know, those guards are really kind of setting the tone for us with uh, sharing the basketball. Alexis Murkowski, four straight double doubles. And, you know, I. We've talked some about her, what she's done, what she did this summer with USA Basketball, but how much has that helped her confidence this year, helped her see, hey, what, what I can do night in, night in and night out? Well, I think her focus has been a lot more intent and, you know, just very intense focus on, you know, like what, what she knows she's capable of doing. And, and I think she's put in a lot of work to, um, to really be in a position where she can sustain longer stretches of time on the court and continue to to really be effective and dependable um during that during those stretches so all the hard work she's put in to really be in in great condition and um and just focused and finishing at a higher clip and just um it's it's paid off and and there's a reason why she's playing a little more confidently right now and and i'm just really proud of um 
the the work she put in to get to a point right now where she's kind of reaping the benefits. But the double double that came yesterday came in, you know, less than 20 minutes. I mean, less than half the game. And you know, so I think she's she's just really finding ways to make her impact be felt. There's so many fun storylines from last night's win, but another one, your freshman Jess Petrie has a career high, and then. Oh, by the way, I think just minutes before, just a little bit before you guys tip things off, her family arrives from Australia yeah. to PBA. Um, how special is that to get to share that? Because not, not very often do the Australian families get to be here, but to be in PBA last night. Yeah, just so special for Jess. And, and um, you know, to be honest with you, Jess is, she's very, very tight-knit with her family. She's kind of a homebody. And even though she has the same experience that Jazz and Izzy and, you know, several of the other Australians that I've coached in my past have where they've left home and gone to live and train at the center of excellence and, and Jess did that. But but she was uh, a more consistent going home on weekends and visiting her family and staying connected. And so this is really her first time just kind of being away away. And so just very um, grateful and, uh, you know, to her family for making the effort to come, uh, come support the Huskers, but come see Jess, you know, in this environment and, and be able to connect with her. But uh, for them to to walk in and be able to all of her younger siblings to get to see her go for a career high last night was pretty special. How did you guys start tapping into that Australian pipeline? Because it's been good to you guys. It has. It has. Yeah, we've been very blessed, and um, you know we we were fortunate. My st my coaching staff and I had coached some pretty good Australian players when we were previously at the University of South Dakota, and uh, one particularly Nicole Seacamp, who who um, went back to Australia after having played for m me and our coaching staff and um, had really good connections and really good experiences. And so, she, you know, she obviously kind of spread the word to a lot of other coaches and players that are over there. Um, our staff was able to make a lot of connections. We've been back to Australia several times to to be able to recruit the players for, at the center of excellence, to watch them play on the national stage with their world teams. Um, those connections really matter. And I think the experiences that our previous Australian players have had working with us um, leads to just more interest. Jess, Logan, and Natalie, your, your three freshmen, uh, Jeff Grease sent me a stat. Over the last four games, they're averaging 30 points together. They're combining for 30 points per game. In 50 minutes per game, just great production. How pleased have you guys been with just the production and how your freshmen have been able to step up here over this stretch? Yeah, well, we've we've needed them, and um, you know we knew that we were going to need to have um, some some of them really step up and really find ways to contribute. And and um, you know we've talked about how hey, you're not you're not freshmen anymore, and you know thank goodness that we had that opportunity with. You know, with Greece and and some extra practices this summer because I've been able to say that to them a little earlier in the fold. But um, the truth is, just our team needs them. I think they can feel that, they can sense that, and they're competitors who like to win. And so um, they they're 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 wanting to know what can I do, what do what does this team need me to do, how can I step up, how can I help making make game winning plays for our team, and and all three of them have been. Uh, fortunately, finding ways to do that. Great stuff. All right, we got to work in our first break here with Amy Williams, 402 and 3200, that number to call or text if you want to be a part of the show. Woodhouse Auto Family is your trusted auto partner with 20 brands and 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. More with Coach Williams coming up right after this. I'm Tom Osborne, former football coach and founder of the Teammates Mentoring Program. I'm recruiting for the team, and I want it to be the finest team in America. I'm looking for someone like you to be a teammate's mentor, someone who is willing to reach out to a child and make a difference. Meeting with a student once a week at school can make an impact in their life and in the community. We want you to join our team. Go to teammates.org to apply today. It's time for some Nebraska farm facts. Want to know a fast way to rev up our Nebraska economy while helping the planet? It's right in your tank. When you fill up with clean soy-based biodiesel, you're increasing Nebraska biodiesel production while reducing greenhouse gases by up to 74%. So look for biodiesel where you fill up. It benefits our air, our economy, and our farmers. 
This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exist to be there with you. They are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. That's why Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska is proud to sponsor Touchdowns for Teachers and ask Husker fans to nominate outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash touchdowns for teachers. It's time to light up the season during the Make the Holidays Bright sales event. Get our best offers and choose from a huge selection of Ford F-150 trucks with the capability, convenience, and technology to help bring us together. Wow. Discover how Ford F-150 can make the holidays bright. Now get a new 2023 Ford F-150 with 2.9% financing for 72 months. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Husker fans, this Thursday, your number one ranked Husker volleyball team is set to host the third round of the NCAA tournament against Georgia Tech. Your postseason coverage is presented by John Henry's, the official plumbing, HVAC, and electrical partner of Nebraska Athletics, bringing you all the action on the Husker Radio Network. Broadcast coverage starts at noon with first serve at one. Listen online or on the air. Go Big Red! Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exist to be there with you. They are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. That's why Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska is proud to sponsor Touchdowns for Teachers and ask Husker fans to nominate outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash touchdowns for teachers. It's time for another round of Nebraska Farm Facts. If there's one thing Nebraska's known for, it's our beef. And Nebraska soybeans feed a lot of them, and even more pigs and chickens. Farmers and ranchers raise livestock and poultry to provide nutritious, affordable protein for all ages to help build muscle and maintain energy for a healthy lifestyle. Keep that in mind as you prepare all that tasty meat on your tailgate grill. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Welcome to Sue's Frame Shop. Yes, can you frame these, please? Um, these are Nebraska Lottery Holiday Classic Scratch tickets. I know. Isn't the classic Christmas artwork on them just charming? Now, be sure not to smudge it when you frame them. But if you scratch them and enter non-winning tickets online, you could win up to $20,000. Give me those. Here's a quarter. Let's start scratching. Promotion ends January 3rd, 2024. Top prize odds vary by game. It's time to light up the season during the Make the Holidays Bright sales event. Get our best offers and choose from a huge selection of Ford F-150 trucks with the capability, convenience, and technology to help bring us together. Wow. Discover how Ford F-150 can make the holidays bright. Now, get a new 2023 Ford F-150 with 2.9% financing for 72 months. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. There's no community like a Cenex community. And that's why every Cenex store is so proud to serve theirs by supporting local athletic teams, promoting the arts, and making sure each store is a place its neighbors can find what they need, catch up with their friends, and stay connected. It's also why we give back, helping to make the wonderful places we call home the best they can be. Your local Cenex doesn't just work in your town, it lives there. The store next door, powered locally at Cenex. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more acres. 
solutions for every field. Welcome back to our Nebraska women's basketball show with Amy Williams. Well, we talked about the win last night over UMC Wilmington, UNC Wilmington, but how about the comeback against Georgia Tech? What kind of fight did you see in your team, especially in the second half? Yeah, uh, just a really, really gritty performance there in that second half. I think um, not only, you know, we we got down 10 at halftime and they hit a half court banked in kind of heave to to go from seven to 10, take it from single digit game to a double digit game. And I thought they had all the momentum um, going into halftime and then really even coming out of the out of the halftime performance early to start the second half they kind of extended their lead and I think in that moment we had a choice to make as a team and I thought um, our kids chose to fight and um, we continued to just scratch and claw and started to do things and play with pace and really um, get out and share the basketball and and made some big time plays and um, and just uh, were able to to eventually work into a lead but then I was just really really proud of the way that we handled the lead down the stretch mm -hmm. and just um, played really smart basketball and and um, had some possessions where we we ticked it all the way down to the very end of the shot clock and then uh, you know jazz drove and kicked out to Natalie Potts, who hit a three at the shot clock buzzer. And I know Jazz hit kind of a little bit of a circus shot to to score her 1,000th point as a Husker, <laughs> um, close to the buzzer. But my favorite play probably of the entire game, and we worked and worked and worked and worked, and Callan got into the paint, and she pivoted and didn't panic. And then she found Lex late down on the low block, and Lex was able to make a post move, spin around, and bump it off the glass as the shot clock was expiring and um, you know those types of possessions where you can really be smart and work the clock and still uh, effectively manage to get a good shot for your team and stuff just really smart game management I thought 13 of 15 to hit the first 13 of your 15 shots in the third quarter to take that lead that's impressive and were you thinking, okay, we're not going to miss? Like, was it just feeding off of each other, contagious a little bit? Like, how was that able to happen? Yeah, I thought it was pretty contagious. I, I really felt like that we were sparked in that stretch by our leaders. I thought, you know, Jazz and Lex really kind of uh, made their mind up that, hey, we're, we're, we're not going to let this slip away. And um, so they started to really make plays. And then I thought... Um, Natalie Potts had a couple of really big baskets in that stretch. Logan Nisley really sparked us with hitting some shots and being able to keep the um, the, the the momentum kind of on our side in the in those stretches. But uh, I thought it really started with just uh, some of our leaders really stepping up and kind of just they had a determined kind of focus on their face that we're you know it's time it's time to step up and and um, not be denied on our home court and and uh, our whole team responded you know and, and you talked about how they managed the lead but just fighting back and and coming back after being down just that kind of circumstance that you're in you never know what kind of fight you're going to be in the big 10 how good was that kind of experience to to come out and, and find a way to win a game like that yeah i think that's uh huge you know we 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 had a very similar experience down in florida at that tournament against tcu and we were not able to ever get fully over the hump and ended up losing a really tight ball game um, but I think for us to be able to prove to ourselves that we can keep fighting and we can surpass and come back in those moments, I think, um, you know, it's just, I, I, you know, I'm still perplexed a little bit with you score six points in the second quarter and then 33 points in the third, you know, it's just kind of crazy, but I think um, proves to our team that we're never really out of it and we just need to, you know, keep doing what we do and that's to fight. The you hit, guys hit 16 threes against UNC Wilmington and then Georgia Tech. You guys hit 10, but the percentages went up too, especially in that second half. Um, how important is that? Because you guys had a couple of uncharacteristic. I mean, this is a team that shoots the three ball well. You got a lot of great shooters, but to to get it going from three, how important has that been too? Yeah, I mean, I think that's something that we really need to um, to have going for us. And you know, we have confidence in our team in their three point shooting ability but we hadn't really proven that and so um, teams then are able to really kind of clog things up for players like Alexis Markowski and other players who are really effective into the paint so um, our ability to stay consistent with our pr 
perimeter shooting will be really important for our ability to continue to have balanced scoring. Five turnovers to 23 assists. We talked about the assists last segment, but the five turnovers too, I know that makes you happy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's been something that we've really been trying to challenge our team with is just having a value for the basketball. And, um, and you know, I think sometimes our team thinks if I didn't score double figures or I didn't, you know, but um, when we can just go back to the film and show, you know, seven assists, no turnovers, you know, that type of a performance is just as valuable to us as if, you know, somebody's going for 20 points. And, um, and so, you know, I think those kinds of things are the things we're going to continue to emphasize as a team is just taking care of the basketball and, and not making mistakes and giving us chances at the basket um, really matter. We've talked about Jazz, but uh, Darian White to that duo, how good are they playing off each other and, and what does that do for your team when they're both clicking? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty special. Um, those two kids, you know, to be um, really learning each other and, and, you know, playing their first few ball games together, um, it's, you wouldn't know it. You wouldn't know it. I mean, I think they've just really started to, to, to pick up on each other's um, traits. I think Jazz values the fact that Darian can create offense uh, for her and, and vice versa. And I think, um, you know, those two are still really kind of figuring out like what each other's strengths are. But as they're doing it, it's pretty fun to watch. You know, you and I have talked a little bit about this, about having guards that can do a little bit of everything. And you have multiple guards that can push the pace. But for Jazz... How much has that been a process for her to kind of go on the ball, off the ball, but just being able to contribute in multiple ways and figure out what is needed from her team any given night? Yeah, I mean, I think she's very natural at it. I mean, she's, she's just played in so many different situations with so many different teams that have needed her to be off the ball, on the ball, at the point, making plays with the pass, making plays with her court vision, with her IQ, with her, um, you know, just knowledge of, you know, her teammates and stuff. Um, but also she's been in situations where it's like she needs to be kind of um, aggressive and the one that's putting the ball in the basket. And, and so I know she's had those experiences and it comes to her kind of naturally, but I think... Um, within our system to be able to bounce back and forth in those roles. Um, you know, she, she'll say, you know, I'm still a work in progress on that. And, and every kid always is, especially the really good ones. You know, they're always going to say they're a work in progress because, um, you know, she's got such a bright future and she's just going to keep getting better and better. But I think, um, I think, you know, for our team, it's such a treat to be able to have her bounce back and forth and to be making plays and being the playmaker but also um, being the one where when people are making plays for her she can really put the ball and fill it up and and um, put, produce she pretty much 100 percent now I mean sometimes those ankles can linger a little bit I, I would say she's getting really close I think maybe this last game she probably felt as close as she has to 100 percent and that that stinking ankle has has lingered way longer than we uh, wanted it to, but um, she's been pretty tough-minded and and has fought through. And I think we're we're really getting to a point where um, where she's pretty close to 100. percent All right, all right. We're gonna work in another break here with Coach Williams. But again, if you have any questions or you want to call or text 402-413-2400. Seatbelt use saves lives and prevents injuries. Nearly 15,000 lives saved per year. Buckle up. This message from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. We're back with more from the coach coming up right after this. Husker fans, this Thursday, your number one ranked Husker volleyball team is set to host the third round of the NCAA tournament against Georgia Tech. Your postseason coverage is presented by John Henry's, the official plumbing, HVAC, and electrical partner of Nebraska Athletics, bringing you all the action on the Husker Radio Network. Broadcast coverage starts at noon with first serve at one. Listen online or on the air. Go Big Red! Shop smarter online for your next vehicle with Buy Now from Woodhouse. Car buying 100% online from your local trusted auto partner. Easily compare hundreds of hand-picked, safety-inspected cars, trucks, and SUVs features, capabilities, and payments. Conveniently apply for financing and complete your paperwork for purchase 100% online, anytime, from anywhere. Plus, we'll deliver it to your driveway. Woodhouse, delivering a better way to car buy online with Buy Now. They say consistency is the key to success. 
they weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exist to be there with you. They are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. That's why Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska is proud to sponsor Touchdowns for Teachers and ask Husker fans to nominate outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash touchdowns for teachers. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Are you a hardworking individual who wants to learn, grow, and thrive in your career? Kidwell is looking for electrical apprentices, journeymen, and low-voltage technicians in Omaha, Lincoln, and Kearney. Whether you are in the market for an entry-level or senior position, there is a place for you at Kidwell. Learn more and view current openings at KidwellCareers.com. Must be 17 years or older and pass a background check, drug screen, and physical. Kidwell, see beyond. Inspiring connectivity and communication since 1948. Notto Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouthwatering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Company is building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Dear roads, trails, and rivers, you ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved-up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the Trail Tamen 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. Get ready again for some Nebraska farm facts. When there's work to be done, Nebraska soybeans are on the job in many of your everyday products. In fact, Nebraska soybeans are hard at work in Goodyear tires, Ford cars and trucks, Skechers shoes, asphalt, fuels, lubricants, name brand paints and stains, and more. Soybeans are an innovative replacement for petroleum, leading to more sustainable products all over the world. This message is brought to you by Nebraska soybean farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Are you a hardworking individual who wants to learn, grow, and thrive in your career? Kidwell is looking for electrical apprentices, journeymen, and low-voltage technicians in Omaha, Lincoln, and Kearney. Whether you are in the market for an entry-level or senior position, there is a place for you at Kidwell. Learn more and view current openings at KidwellCareers.com. Must be 17 years or older and pass a background check, drug screen, and physical. Kidwell, see beyond. Inspiring connectivity and communication since 1948. BMO is a proud sponsor of the Huskers Radio Network. We're committed to helping our customers make real financial progress. To learn more, visit BMO.com. Welcome back to our Nebraska Women's Basketball Show. Jessica Cootie along with head coach Amy Williams. Well, it's been a pretty fun start to the season from your signees, your, your future Huskers. We talked about them, I think, the last time we sat down in studio, but... Boy, they've had a, a couple of pretty big performances to start the season. Yeah, it's been really fun to watch, um, you know, Maya Hargrove and, and Britt Prince on the same night. Uh, both went for 42. And wow. our other 2024 recruit, um, Kennedy, was feeling a little left out. So <laughs> <laughs> She's like, well, Mom, I had six steals. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, it's some 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 really exciting um, times for us, and just knowing 
um, that we've got some very prolific scores and capable um, scores that uh, we have to look forward to coming into the program in the future. How much fun is it when you, you got them locked in and now you could just sit back and, and enjoy what they do in high school? Yeah, it's really fun. I think it's so much fun for us. I think it's probably even more fun for them. Um, you know, the recruiting process is Stressful. its really fun and yeah. it's really, um, you know, a blessing, but it, it also can cause quite a bit of distress and, and it can be, um, it can be, it can take its toll. So I think um, for them to just be freed up to right now just, you know, have some fun and, and um, play their game and just, you know, be free to, um, to try to, you know, make a quest for state championships and just fully be engulfed in their team. I think it's pretty fun for everybody. Well, I want to talk to you about Michigan State. That's uh, up next. But before we get into that, we just made an announcement. There's a spe special ticket package that has been released. PAC PBA, the alumni game, is coming up on January 7th against Indiana. We've talked a little bit about that. But again, the PAC PBA, January 7th, 5 for 35. So you can get five tickets for $35 to honor Jordan Hooper's Number 35, which we're also going to retire her jersey that day as well. You know, we, we did it last year and had a heck of a crowd against Iowa. But, man, um, how special is that day going to be? And how important is it to have a big crowd there that day? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's really important. I think, number one, um, you know, this team really deserves it. I feel like this team is a team that's going to lay it all on the line for Husker Nation and for the fan base. And so I don't think there will be anybody that will be, you know, disappointed with the effort that um, the this Husker team puts out on the floor. So I think, you know, if you want to be entertained, you know, you should you should come out. But I think um, the other the other big piece of that is, um, you know, one of the best to ever wear a Husker jersey. Uh, Jordan Hooper and just the way that she inspired some of the current players mm -hmm. that are on my roster right now and just the um, the the impact that she's made for our athletic department for our women's basketball program and just um, you know the state of Nebraska I think um, she's just a an outstanding representative home home a uh, state kid that that stayed at Nebraska and and really did special things for this program and so I think to honor her um, I'm really hopeful that there will be a lot of people that will come out to to show her and her teammates that respect on the alumni day and and to really be out there to support our team also honoring the 2014 big uh, Big Ten championship team as well um, but to have your jersey retired, that just doesn't happen very often. And so, I mean, it's just so special. I'm sure it's got to be special for you, too, to honor another one in the program. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, she'll be just the fourth in our program's history to, to have that special um, accomplishment. And so it's, it, it doesn't happen very often, but um, this couldn't happen for a better player. All right, so again, the five for 35, five tickets for $35, huskers.com slash tickets if you want to lock in that price and, and be there to pack PBA against Indiana January 7th. All right, let's talk Michigan State. They're off to a great start to the season, 7-1. and one. I believe they're averaging over 93, almost 94 points a game, which leads the Big Ten, third in the nation. What are you saying from the Spartans? Yeah, they are a high-powered offense, and right now they have uh, pretty much everybody that they put out on the court can shoot the three, and they all are really, really quick and, and um, can go off the dribble on direct line drives. So um, it's a tough defensive matchup. There's a reason they're putting up so many points because it's really, really hard to stay in front of them one-on-one. -on -one. But if you try to bring any help or show any help, they've got um, outstanding shooters all around. And they're playing really inspired basketball. They have a new head coach in Robin Freilich, and she's done – uh, you know, great things at Bowling Green and has brought that same kind of winning mentality to Michigan State. And, and they seem to be playing really inspired by um, for for her and um, and just, you know, really meshing. It's going to be a tough road game to open Big Ten play. So I, I noticed, too, they've got four double figures, one at like almost double figure, two at almost double figures, so almost six players that have scored quite a bit. How do you go about that defensively when they do have scores all over the floor like you're talking about? Yeah, I mean, it's just you kind of pick your poison, and it's, you know, it's a tough thing. And you might watch one game, and um, A. Ralt goes for 29 and 14, and then the very next game, it's, um, you know, 
this kid is going to go off and hit six threes and then it's you know it's Dee Dee Hageman's turn and you know so um, they've each had they've had different leading scores and I think that's what's so dangerous about it um, when you're planning and prepping is you know trying to pick your poison just a little bit and and um, you know and hope you can contain. Obviously, you're, you're dealt with the schedule you get, but do you like kind of having a conference, couple conference games sprinkled in in the non-conference? Not very many conferences do this kind of thing, where, and we're seeing it in both the men's and women's, but to kind of get an opportunity to get a couple of early cracks at it before you go all in into the Big Ten? I don't like it right now. Uh, <laughs> like, once we get into the conference play, and um, the Big Ten schedule is such a grind after Christmas, and so this... You know, playing an early game like this um, allows us to be able to protect double buy for every team in the in the league, and I think that's really important when you're trying to keep kids healthy through um, the grind months of January and February. And so I think during that time frame, I'll be happy that we will have um, these couple December conference games um, out of the way, but um, not right now. Like right now, I'd love to have a few more weeks to really kind of. Um, learn a little bit more about our team, put some of the pieces in place, get our freshmen continuing to gain confidence and, and our new players. And, um, you know, to, but here we are, and it is what it is, and, and we're going to do the best we can to build on the momentum we have from the last couple of ball games and take the show on the road. So we talked about your freshmen earlier. What do you tell them about playing in the Big Ten? And especially their first matchup, or is it just any other game? You approach it any other game? <laughs> yeah, kind of. I mean, I think that they, um, you know, they didn't come to Nebraska because they didn't have at least a little bit of a clue of what the Big Ten was going to entail. Yeah. But I think, um, you know, to some degree, you know, we've talked about that. This is why our team has challenged ourselves to play teams like you know, TCU who had, you know, five power five transfers in their starting lineup and play, you know, some of the games that were playing, you know, the Creighton of the world who, um, you know, Creighton right now with, with uh, you know, an entirely senior laden um, starting lineup and three 1,000 point scorers in, in their roster. Um, you know, those types of games really help prepare you for what you're going to face when you go play on the road at Michigan State. So, um, so hopefully our kids, have, our, our, our new players have gotten a little bit of a taste of it. One o'clock on Saturday, we'll be on Big Ten, the Big Ten Network, and as always, we'll have the call for you right here on the Huskers Radio Network with Matt Coatney and Jeff Grish. Before I let you get out of here, we're going to show a little clip of the place episode, which is coming out tomorrow, a special episode featuring international student athletes here at Nebraska and kind of highlighting all the special accomplishments because there are some heck of, heck of athletes that are from all around the world here at Nebraska, but Yours, Jazz Shelley, who we've talked a lot about, but just how special has she been to your program and, and to get to highlight her tomorrow, but just everything that she's done for you guys. Yeah, it's 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 kind of hard to put into words, you know. It's um, you know, I knew um, when we recruited her the first time around when I flew to Australia to sit into her home visit, just um, you know, what a special basketball player she was, but also just um, the unique thing is is just what an incredible young lady that she is. And um, we've got to witness that for the last three years here at Nebraska, the way she's poured into our program and trying to develop not only her game and as a leader and, you know, but also really just pouring in to try to leave this program better than she found it to, um, to you know, connect with the young people in the state of Nebraska and the way she has, you know, just given herself to um, all the all the young girls that look up to her and stuff it's just really special it's been special to watch and it's hard to put into words what that means the um, the impact that she's having we also hear too and Jazz has said this too but you know for some of these athletes it's a dream to come to America to go to college to play college athletics but the resources that are provided here at Nebraska how important have you seen that be to to these international students that to help them through that because it's a tr transition as well but just the academics the life skills all the things that are provided here how important is that too yeah well we're so incredibly blessed in that area and i think um you know i coached some australian players previously and and you know then when you come to a place like nebraska that's just um, that has the immense resources. Um, it just, you know, and, and then you watch those players um, be able to fully take, to make use of all the resources that are available to them. It's pretty um, unique. I don't think it's that way everywhere, but it's just really um, special. And I think it 
allows for these young women who are halfway across the world from their families and their comfort zones to really thrive and continue to um, succeed and, and really come away from this experience better than um, they came in. All right, great stuff. We'll let you get out of here. Best of luck on Saturday. Okay, thanks so much, Jess. All right, coming up, we're going to hear from Jazz and a little bit, a little teaser of the place episode that's going to be dropping tomorrow, so keep it right here. Dorothy Lynch, home style and light and lean dressing, endless flavorabilities. Husker fans, this Thursday, your number one ranked Husker volleyball team is set to host the third round of the NCAA tournament against Georgia Tech. Your postseason coverage is presented by John Henry's, the official plumbing, HVAC, and electrical partner of Nebraska Athletics, bringing you all the action on the Husker Radio Network. Broadcast coverage starts at noon with first serve at one. Listen online or on the air. Go Big Red! Love is all around during the 2023 Subaru Share the Love event. By the end of this, our 16th year, Subaru and retailers like us will have donated over $285 million to charities such as the ASPCA, Make-A-Wish, Meals on Wheels America, and the National Park Foundation. Duto Subaru is proud to support Make-A-Wish Nebraska during the Subaru Share the Love event. Visit Duto Subaru, located at 2750 Jamie Lane in Lincoln, or online at dutosubaru.com for more details. Welcome to Sue's Frame Shop. Yes, can you frame these, please? Um, these are Nebraska Lottery Holiday Classic Scratch tickets. I know. Isn't the classic Christmas artwork on them just charming? Now, be sure not to smudge it when you frame them. But if you scratch them and enter non-winning tickets online, you could win up to $20,000. Give me those. Here's a quarter. Let's start scratching. Promotion ends January 3rd, 2024. Top prize odds vary by game. Woodhouse has been delivering you confidence in car buying since 1975. And now we're giving you the convenience of doing it 100% online with Buy Now. Anytime, from anywhere, you can compare hundreds of hand-picked, safety-inspected, free-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs that are available to purchase completely online. Shop smarter with personalized, estimated payments on all the inventory. Apply for financing and schedule your driveway delivery all online. Woodhouse, delivering a better way to car buy online with Buy Now. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. It's time to light up the season during the Make the Holidays Bright sales event. Get our best offers and choose from a huge selection of Ford F-150 trucks with the capability, convenience, and technology to help bring us together. Wow. Discover how Ford F-150 can make the holidays bright. Now, get a new 2023 Ford F-150 with 2.9% financing for 72 months. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. When you're clocking out and happy hours already started. But... You're clocking out, and happy hour's already started. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Pick up Bud Light at your local convenience store today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. You could win a 2024 Porsche from Porsche Omaha this season. Four lucky Husker fans will have a chance to win a 2024 Porsche if they make a full court pot at halftime at one of four home men's basketball games this season. For more information and the official rules, go to www.huskers.com slash putt. Final segment here of our Nebraska women's basketball show before we will hand things off to Jake and Kent for our Men's basketball pregame show coming up at 7 o'clock with the tip-off coming up. Kent was telling us earlier about 8.07, unless it slides a little bit, but 8.07 official tip at Minnesota between Nebraska and Minnesota. So we wanted to give you a little bit of a sneak peek of the next episode of The Place that will be debuting tomorrow night at 5.30. It features different student athletes from different sports that are from all around the world that are playing here at Nebraska. And so, of course, Jazz Shelley, a big part of this place episode that's coming out tomorrow. So we wanted to give you a little sneak peek of what you can expect to hear from Jazz's portion of the place. 
Um, our opportunity to watch jazz play came very early on when she was representing Australia in uh, world stages in competition. Uh, she catches your eye right away because she's just um, a very high IQ basketball player and so she's been on our radar for a long time. In Australia we don't actually have high school sports so you have to play professionally from a young age if you take your sport seriously um, and I kind of knew I wanted to go to college when I would say I was about 16 when I saw my older brother go to America to play college basketball so that kind of inspired me I didn't really know what it was at first or I was getting like messages from schools and stuff on Facebook and my parents are getting messages kind of like what is this is the place that will drop 5:30 tomorrow on Huskers YouTube so along with Jazz Shelley along with her, the other Huskers that will be featured, Casey Tominaga from Nebraska Men's Basketball, Till Steinforth, who of course is the Big Ten champion in uh, both the decathlon and the uh, long jump. So he will be on as well. Um, and um, we have Emma Spence from Nebraska Women's Gymnastics and Axelina from uh, a national champion from Nebraska track and field as well, and Eleanor Dale, who, by the way, just today was named a finalist, one of three finalists for the Herman Trophy. Of course, led the nation in scoring 28 goals, but one of three finalists, so big news there. So Eleanor Dale will also be a part of the place again, 5.30 tomorrow night on our Huskers YouTube channel. Appreciate Amy Williams joining us here on our Nebraska women's basketball show. Three big wins for them since the last time we chatted with her, and they'll uh, kickoff Big Ten play coming up on Saturday against Michigan State. Talked a lot about that. One o'clock Big Ten Network, and we will have the call for you here on the Huskers Radio Network. But, man, what a performance last night from that women's team. That was fun to watch. They could miss, and a lot of, um, a lot of action there, a lot of different players and double figures. But Jazz Shelley, who will be again, featured in this place episode, second career double, double the first Husker ever to accomplish that feat. Well, Cole, what's, uh, are you excited for this matchup tonight against Minnesota? I am. I, more, more than anything, interested to see how they rebound. And I think they're going to rebound pretty well. But I think it just took a game for this team to kind of, you know, with our best start since 92-93, took a, you know, that, they're going to take that game and learn from it. So... Yeah, absolutely. So we'll see how they bounce back. We had Coach Hoiberg on the show uh, last night or Monday night. So, um, yeah, be a, a good cha challenge, good opportunity. And I expect this team with a lot of leadership, a lot of, a lot of experience to be able to bounce back and uh, hopefully get in the win column. Big Ten play. I kind of like these. I kind of like these Big Ten matchups. I know it's, it's a little tough, a little challenge for the teams to have this kind of matchup here in the non-conference. But I, I like the kind of the the magnitude of it here in during this early part of the season and, and speaking of Iowa women's basketball right now tied with Iowa State 34 34 so um, that's on ESPN too also so big matchup there between Iowa and Iowa State 34 all at the half all right that is going to do it for us here on our Nebraska women's basketball show and we've been broadcasting here inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. All right, coming up, we're going to hand things over to Kent Pavelka and Jake Muehlheisen. They're on the call for you for our Nebraska men's basketball pregame show against Minnesota coming up 807 tip for that. Thanks for listening. Have a great night, Husker Hit us Nation. Up on the text line, text 402 413 2400 with your Husker thoughts. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So, how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Hey, Husker fans, it's Matt Davison with the 1890 Initiative. 
As we get ready to celebrate 1890's one-year anniversary, I'm proud to say the 1890 initiative now represents 150 Husker student athletes in nine sports. And with your help, we can keep 1890 going strong, helping student athletes get the most from their name, image, and likeness, and preparing them for life after college. Visit 1890nebraska.com to learn more about NIL and 1890 and contribute today. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at nebraskachiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. Shop smarter online for your next vehicle with Buy Now from Woodhouse. Car buying 100% online from your local trusted auto partner. Easily compare hundreds of hand-picked, safety-inspected cars, trucks, and SUVs features, capabilities, and payments. Conveniently apply for financing and complete your paperwork for purchase 100% online, anytime, from anywhere. Plus, we'll deliver it to your driveway. Woodhouse, delivering a better way to car buy online with Buy Now. Let's pause 15 seconds for station identification on the Huskers radio network. It's time for Husker Courtside. Here's a drive by Wilcher under the hoop. Puts it up and in and in one. Walker, jump pass, left corner, Lawrence three. It's in and out and in again. Another three by Lawrence. Sits it out, Sam Hoiberg's got a good look. The three on the way. Bang! Bang! Husker Courtside, brought to you locally by 